Hey, Peter here. Day five, learning to play the banjo. I had to work late today and didn't really get to practice. Kind of sounds like yesterday, doesn't it? Anyway, I did learn a new thing. So I mentioned the other day I wanted to learn uh, some more rolls. Sorry, I keep doing this. It's because I'm trying to get my arm back a little bit. There, I'll be all right. Anyway, uh, I think on the first day I had learned the forward backward roll, I believe it's called. Forward reverse roll, forward backward. <laughs> Actually, for whatever reason came to me pretty easily so I was looking through some other rolls and the alternating thumb roll just happened to be the first one on this list probably because it's alphabetically first I don't know but it involves as you might guess thumb index thumb middle thumb index thumb middle and that part is not that tricky but for some reason this one gave me a lot of trouble and it took me a good little while and I had to slow down a lot to, to figure it out so uh, I believe it goes like this. Nope. So thumb. So conceptually it's not that complicated, but for whatever reason my fingers just don't want to do <laughs> what they're supposed to do. Um, so most of that started to go a little bit better, I think. Um, and again, it's one of those weird things where like, it, once I kind of know how to do it, the less I think about it, the better it works. Um, which will only take you so far until it messes up and you're not thinking about it and you can't figure out how to fix it. Um, I was thinking about it today or just a moment ago when I was practicing and it's kind of like with uh, with marching band again to jump back about 10, 11, 12 years. Uh, <laughs> it's like you, you learn the music well enough that you can figure out where you're going on the field you kind of play the music automatically while you're moving to your spots. And then once you've got that sort of in, under your feet, you can work on refining the music a little bit more. And ideally, I think you, you know, try to balance that out to where you're making good formations on the field, but also playing well. Um, so anyway, that's that was kind of a helpful way for me to think about it. I'm not sure exactly how it was helpful, but it helped. So hopefully it can help you too. Uh, Bono? No. Um, and after a bit, the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, can't do it by itself. After a bit, that kind of becomes a little bit automatic, or not automatic, but it kind of blends in a little bit. And what I really hear is. So even though it's just a G chord the whole time, it almost sounds like a D. throws me off to have a thumb on, or a, sorry, a string on the side of my thumb, but not to have a string there. <laughs> um. If you like to talk to tomatoes. No, those weren't the right notes at all. Anyway. Uh, so there's the alternating thumb roll. It was really 
expecting to mess up sooner than that. I know my timing got a little bit off. It kind of went down, da 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 But I'll take it. Um, <laughs> so that's, I guess, getting a little bit better. Um, again, I really kind of struggled with it for a little bit before I could figure it out and had to play it about this fast. Nope. See, even that I mess up. I think even the first time that I played it quite well, what? I don't want autoplay ads. First time I played it quite well, um, it was even slower than that. So there's that one, and then there's the forward backward roll. Nope. Got a little overconfident there. That's six and a half minutes, sorry. Uh, long, long video today, I guess, just because I kept rambling. Um, again, let me know if you have any tips or advice. Uh, I'm glad for any feedback. Please comment. And if you know somebody who might be interested in watching me learn to play banjo, either because they think it's an interesting thing or maybe they already play the banjo and they want to laugh at a beginner or um, whatever the reason might be, please share this or another one of my videos with a friend. Um, I would like more people to watch because uh, it encourages me to keep going and to get better, kind of put some stakes in the game as far as I know that, um, you know, if people are interested, they want to see me get better and not just do the same thing over and over. So uh, again, share the video, comment, subscribe. Uh, subscriptions really help me uh, because down the road then I get to use a custom URL for my channel once I hit a certain number of subscribers. I think it's 50 or 100 plus 30 days old for the channel. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around for seven and a half minutes. Uh, and uh, you have a good day. Bye.